I'm on. Hi. It's gone, right? Can you read this for teacher? Yes. You see? Mm. <laughs> no electricity, see? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, teachers. There's a power outage. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, yes, you can see me, but earlier uh, my class was like this. Um, I'm going to show you. So for emergency purposes, uh, I was like this earlier. <laughs> because I had to take the class no matter what. Then thankfully, my husband was able to turn on the power generator that I bought from Shopee. So I was able to turn back on my ring light. And thankfully, I now have an electric fan. Because earlier, for emergency purposes, I only used my portable electric fan. And I was like doing my best to conceal the fact that I am dying of the summer heat. Now, this vlog or this video is all about sharing with you how to be ready just in case there is a power outage. Because teacher here in Akatsuk or in any ESL company, you must always be ready just in case there's a power outage. No excuses. Penalty is penalty. You won't be able to take your class. You get penalized or even a complaint for it. And that's a big no-no. By investing on a reliable power source just in case there's an outage you'd be able to survive this trust me because right now I'm in the middle of it I'm in a crisis and I have several trial lessons and VIP classes but then again I still have to go on and pretend that everything is okay and I'm, and I'm not dying of the heat So I was already able to take a shower and finally we already have electricity. <laughs> so to ESL teachers and to those of you who are working from home, it's a total doomsday if you get to experience a power outage in the middle of your work. And when it comes to things like this, preparation is key. If you are not prepared, then expect to experience doomsday. But if you are prepared, then you can have a stress-free experience and you could continue with your work. So teachers, spare yourself from the stress and be ready. Let me give you tip number one. Well, you have to calm down and breathe. Yes, it's very important for you to calm down. You know, you have to think straight and think, contemplate whether or not you would have to cancel your next class or not, whether or not you have to cancel your meeting or not. You have to think about it, especially for ESL teachers. We know for a fact that canceling a class is better than being absent. The penalties are less. And of course, you'll be able to, you know, uh, protect your reputation. If you're confident that you'd be able to continue with the class, then don't cancel it. But if you're not ready, you better cancel your, your classes. Tip number two, turn on your modem as soon as possible. Like seriously, when the lights turn off, you lose power. The first thing that you would have to do is turn on your modem. When you're working from home, internet is live. And the thing is, how would you be able to turn your modem back on if you don't have power? Well, you could invest on this super duper affordable cable. It's a power to USB cable. What you're going to do is you're going to connect the other end to your power bank and then the other end you'd connect to your modem and voila, you already have internet connection. Now, teachers, do not be deceived by unreliable power banks. You know, I've purchased so many power banks online, but then again, they just die after a few months or after a few days. That's worst case scenario. So I invested on this brand. It's a Bavin, I think. Um, this is like super reliable. I've had this for about 11 months now. I've used it for like three power outages because here in the Philippines, power outages are pretty common. <laughs> so you have to um, uh, invest rather on a reliable power bank. And um, if you do not have, let's say, a power bank and this uh, cable over here, another option would be to use your mobile hotspot, although that's quite unreliable. You know, when someone calls you, you could get, uh, disconnected so yeah for emergency purposes you could use this and there's another thing that I'd like to show you other than those you could consider purchasing your very own Wi-Fi stick because just like what I've mentioned your smartphone may not be too reliable so having like a Wi-Fi stick for backup purposes is strongly recommended what I used would be the TP-Link Wi-Fi stick I got it for around 4,000 pesos I bought it last year but I believe it's cheaper now on Shopee and Lazada you could buy it online and trust me this Wi-Fi stick has saved me from that three-day um, internet outage in the Philippines you know because of the sub 
submarine repair. Uh, I'm not techie, so I don't understand. But the point is, for three days, the internet in the Philippines was so messed up. So because of this device, I was able to run all my classes and I was able to minimize the penalties. And the great thing about this investment, yes, it's 4000 It's way expensive than, let's say, PLDT or Smarts uh, or Globe's uh, Wi-Fi stick. It's like 1000 pesos only. Um, yes, it's way more expensive, but tried and trust, tried and tested. It's super reliable and I highly recommend it. Tip number three, prepare your work environment, especially to ESL teachers and people who work from home who have back to back meetings every now and then. You won't be able to have video calls if you don't have decent lighting. So for emergency purposes, you must be able to have rechargeable light source, just like this uh, Firefly <laughs> um, light source that I have. I also have another one I got from Miniso for like uh, 300 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, a lamp. <laughs> very reliable and of course how are you going to be able to work properly if you're dying from the summer heat especially in the philippines have you just seen on the news that the temperature in metro manila is like uh, 45 degrees celsius higher than a fever what <laughs> so you always have to have a backup electric fan yes you know what i like about this akari electric fan is that um not only does it have fan features it also has a light <laughs> That's what I love about it. Um, I also invested on this Omni little electric fan. I use it for my laptop so that it's not going to overheat. You, the ventilation shouldn't only be for the person, but also for the device. Because imagine if your laptop's going to overheat, how are you going to be able to work? Right? Make sense? So um, these are things that you must do for your work environment. Make sure you have good lighting and ventilation. For my next tips, I'll be sharing with you what you should do if the power outage lasts longer than usual. Like instead of a two hour pa power outage, it, it lasts for a day or worse, lasts for two days. So for my tip number four, you must have an assistant, you know, someone who lives with you, who could help you out. Like wh while you're panicking, this is going to be the person who will set up, let's say your, your internet, who will plug your modem to your power bank, who will make sure that you have enough power, who will update you if you're about to lose power and so on because guys when there's a power outage it's almost impossible to do it by yourself without messing up your job so if you don't want to mess up your classes you don't want to mess up your meetings if you're working from home you have to have someone at home who's willing to help you because the goal here is to minimize the consequences that you could have just or that you could experience at work just because you don't have electricity so once again have someone to assist you Turn on your power generator because you guys, the battery of your laptop, the battery of your power bank, the, pa the battery, let's say, of your of your backup lighting and your electric fan could only last for a few hours, worse, a few minutes. So for every person who's working from home now that we're in the middle of a pandemic, having a power generator a power generator rather has been a must have you know you must make sure that you have one and uh, typically there are two common um power generators that uh we buy here in the philippines one would be a gasoline generator and then the other one would be an inverter generator um the gasoline generator is cheaper but it's noisier and it also has gasoline fumes um being emitted from it when it's on so i recommend gasoline uh generators if you live in in a neighborhood and no one's going to complain and you let's say have this area outside your home where you could put your generator where it could um, release all the fumes without you inhaling it um, actually what I'm using is a gasoline generator because we have space in front and it's not really disturbing our you know our neighbors that much although honestly it's quite noisy the reason why I like my gasoline generator because besides the fact that it's cheaper is that I also have backup gasoline um, let's say it already used up all its power Hour, the gasoline has been consumed I have another like super big container of gasoline and we just have to pour it in there and I'd be able to have electricity again now the other type of generator would be inverter uh, generators wherein you either have to charge it or it could be like solar powered so uh, these generators are more expensive because again you don't have to experience the the cons of people like me with gasoline uh, generators who experience the, the fumes and the noise and again I'm gonna give you an example of the the noise that gasoline inverters produce <laughs> And um, notice that it's really 
noisy. But again, it saved me from three power outages. One was because of Typhoon Ulysses. There was a power outage that lasted for about 12 hours and it definitely saved me from being penalized because of power outage. So once again, it's a must that we, people working from home, invest on a power generator. Get as much power or electricity from your generator. Once again, your generator also has limitations. Uh, I believe like 9,000 watts or something. Um, it depends on what you purchase. So once your generator is up, plug your laptop in, uh, plug your backup devices, your smartphone, your iPad. Make sure you charge your rechargeable lights, your rechargeable fans, your power bank as much as you can. You know, Utilize your uh, generator and think about the worst case scenario, right? You want to maximize maximize the utility of your of your generator and make sure that all of your devices are ready and of course enjoy the electric fan enjoy the light enjoy your ring light because you can now plug it directly to a power source because you now have a generator so there you have it teachers the seven recommendations for the ultimate power backup system you always have to be ready and if i may recommend more things that you should invest on other than so many rechargeable lights and rechargeable fans i hope that you could also invest on a second power bank it's better if your home has two power banks one let's say for the modem and then the other one could be for your backup smartphone or for your backup ipad or for your electric fan or for your lighting and please do invest on this device we call the ups it's ups because it's uninterrupted power source what happens is that the UPS is plugged or your modem is plugged directly to the UPS then the UPS is plugged to the power source and what happens is if there's a power outage everything turns off yes it'll get darker but you will still have internet connection because the UPS is a device that will provide power to your modem in the event that there is sudden power interruption so this is also a great investment it's available on Shopee and Lazada and other online stores and of course you could go to the shopping mall to buy it yourself but I recommend you know taking advantage of um, e-commerce and buying it online instead. So there you go, teachers and people who are working from home. Uh, I do hope that you have learned something from this video. Um, trust me, all these recommendations are tried and tested. It's based on my experience and this backup has saved me from tons of penalties and money loss in my line of work. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you have any um, comments about my content or if you have video requests. And of course, click the bell icon to get notified for new video uploads. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching and for your continued support. And please be a blessing to the people around you. Goodbye.